respected listeners, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with many blessings and bounties in this life. One of the great blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the blessing of children. To know the blessing of the children, ask those parents who are desirous of children and cannot have children. To know the blessing of a daughter, ask those parents who are desirous of daughters and only have sons or no sons and vice versa. But again, it is Allah's decision. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran says, لِلَّهِ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ يَخْلُخُ مَا يَشَاءُ يَهُبُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَهُبُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ الذُّكُورِ أَوْ يُزَوِّجُهُمْ ذُكْرَانًا وَإِنَاثًا وَيَجْعَلُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَقِيمًا إِنَّهُ عَلِيمٌ قَدِيرٌ To Allah belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. Allah creates what He wills. To some, Allah blesses with daughters. It's amazing how the Quran talks about the rights of the woman, how the Quran gives preference to the woman, as opposed to what the modern media talks about Islam and the woman's right. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Zukhruf, to Allah belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. Allah creates what He wills. To some he blesses with daughters, to some he blesses with sons, to some he blesses with sons and daughters, to some he blesses with none, he leaves them barren. Allah's knowledge is complete, Allah's power is complete. Al Malu al Banun, Zinatul Hayati Dunya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that most certainly your wealth and children or the adornment of this life. Innama amwalukum wa awladukum fitna, wallahu indahu ajrun azim. Indeed, most certainly your wealth and children are a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a great reward. Children, respected listeners, are a great blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and this blessing, Allah says, your children are the adornment of this life. We take pride in our children. But along with this blessing, it's a responsibility Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to all of us. And again, this responsibility is not a burden, but a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Zakaria alayhi salam, the Quran says, when his bones had become weak and feeble, when he had become old, his wife had become old. He thought there is no chance I'm going to have a child. Human logic speaking. But when he saw fruits out of the season in front of Maryam alayhi salam, in Baitul Maqdas, he said, where did you get these fruits from, out of season fruits? She says, this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who's sending me these fruits. Then he said, if Allah can give you fruits out of season, Allah can also give me a child when I'm old and weak and my wife is old and weak. And then he prays to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rabbi habli min ladunka dhurriyatan tayyiba. Oh my Lord, give me a good offspring that will carry my inheritance, not of inheritance of wealth, but the inheritance of my knowledge and the prophethood, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And from whom you will be pleased, O oh Allah, وَجَعَلَهُ Rabbi radiya, With whom you will be pleased, O oh my Lord. He has not even been given a tidings, glad tidings of a son to be born. But he's asking Allah, Allah, O oh Allah, bless me with a child with whom you will be pleased. Luqman alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed an entire surah in the Quran with the name Luqman, on the name of Luqman alayhi salam. He, he was not a prophet, but Allah loved his advices to his son so much that Allah gave the entire surah the name Luqman, even though Allah quotes very few of his advices in the Quran. Our taraweeh will not be complete until Surah Al-Luqman is read in the taraweeh. 
Allah has sealed Surah Al-Luqman in the Quran until the day of judgment. Ya Bunayya Aqimis Salah, Wa'mur Bil Maruf, Wanha Anil Munkar, Wasbir Ala Ma Asabak, In Nadalika Min Azmil Umur. O oh, my beloved son, establish Salah and invite the people towards good and forbid them from doing evil and bear with patience whatever befalls you when you do this great work lot of tests will come but bear with patience inna dhalika min azmi umur and this will be the best resolutions you had you have made ya bunayya la tushrik billah inna shirka la dhulmun azim oh my beloved son do not associate partners to allah Indeed, this is a great sin in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. O oh, my son, do not walk on earth arrogantly and do not turn away your face with pride from fellow human beings. Inna Allah la yuhibbu kulla makhtalin fakhur. Oh no, my beloved son, don't act with arrogance in this life. Waqsit fi mashik, waqdud min sautik. Oh, my beloved son, walk gently with humility on this earth and lower your voice when you go to any Kaiser hospital and when the door of the elevator shuts on you, when you close the door, the words are written, walk gently and lower your voice. They have no idea these are the words of Surah Al-Luqman. Allahu says, oh my son, walk gently on earth and don't raise your voice for the harshest of the voices in the eyes of Allah is the braying of a donkey and the following advices are not in the Quran, oh my son don't be sleeping on your bed at Fajr time when the hen is crowing at the early dawn hours don't be lying on the bed and sleeping, missing your Fajr Salah. Oh my son, ever since the day you were born, every day you're heading towards the life of the hereafter with your back towards this world. Your abode to the hereafter is much closer than, to your, than, than your own house. Oh my son, have great expectations of Allah's mercy. And these expectations of Allah's mercy should not, should not make you lose the fear of Allah. And the fear of Allah should not make you despair the mercy of Allah. The son says, oh, but oh my father, I have only one heart. How can the mercy and the fear fit in one heart? Luqman salam says, oh my son, every believer has two hearts. One heart is filled with the hope and mercy of Allah. And the other heart is filled with the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh my son, whenever shaitan comes and makes you negligent in doing good deeds, makes you negligent in doing virtues defeat him with the remembrance of the grave and the day of resurrection oh my son do not be so sweet that people swallow you up and do not be so bitter that they spit you out oh my son do not eat when your stomach is full it is better to give the food to a dog than overeating oh my son if someone comes to you and says that somebody has taken his one eye out. Do not make a judgment till you hear the other side because the same very person must have taken two, other, two eyes of the other person. Oh my son, sit in the company of, associate yourself with the pious people because when Allah's mercy de descends upon them, you will become part of the special mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because when it rains, it pours on all sides. Oh my son, avoid sitting in the company of the wicked people because when Allah's punishment descends upon them, you will become part of that punishment. Oh my son, be quick in repentance before death takes you unawares. Oh my son, keep reciting saying, Rabbi khfirli, Rabbi khfirli, Oh my Lord, forgive me because there are moments in the day when your du'as are accepted. Oh my son, sit in the company of the ulama, the scholars and do not make enmity with them because the wisdom that comes from them that will benefit you a lot. And if you avoid those 
gatherings of the scholars and ulama, you will be deprived of knowledge. Oh my son, I have given you many advices in the I have given you many advices. And when the time of death came to Luqman alayhi salam, he says, Oh my son, today I'm going to give you six advices. Busy yourself in this world. Busy yourself in this world for the amount of time you have left in this world, which is very short time. Oh my son, worship Allah. Worship Allah for the measure of dependence you have over Him. Ask a person who's fighting for breaths or who wants to pass urine, his urinary tract is blocked. How much help he needs from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh my son, worship Allah for the, for the measure of dependence you have over him. Oh my, oh my son, prepare for the life of the hereafter, for the amount of time you have to live in that life which is forever and ever. Oh my son, Continuously struggle to seek freedom from the fire of hell till you are sure you have attained it. Like a person who has committed a crime, serious crime, and he hires the best of the lawyers to fight the case till he's sure that he's going to win the case. Oh my son, if you have the audacity, the boldness to commit a sin, go ahead, commit it if you can endure the fire of hell. Oh my son, the Quran says, Luqman alayhi salam advising his son, the same advice, oh my son, if you want to commit a sin, go commit behind a rock, or below the earth, or above the heavens. Aw sakhratin fil ard, aw fi samawat wal ard, be below the rock or in the heavens or the earth where Allah is not watching you because every action you do Allah will bring it to life on the day of judgment what advices respected listeners it's as if Luqman salam is giving these advices to each of us as if we need to give these advices to our children a man comes to Umar ta'ala anhu when he's the Khalifa, the leader of the believers, he brings his teenage son with him and he's really upset at his son. He complains to Umar and says, Oh Amirul Mu'mineen, O leader of the believers, my son is rebellious and disobedient to me, dominating over me, O Amirul Mu'mineen. Umar punishes him, reprimands him, the son. And the son says, O Amirul Mu'mineen, leader of the believers, I understand parents have rights over children, but do children have any rights over their parents? Umar Razian says, yes, children have three rights over their father. When you're born, before you are born, your father should have married a good woman as your mother. Number two, he should give you an Islamic name. Number three, he should teach you the teachings of the Quran. The son says, O oh, Amirul Mumineen, O oh, leader of the believers, I'm sorry to say he did not give me any of these three things. Then Umar says to the father, you are evil to him before he was evil to you. You disobeyed him before he disobeyed you and you destroyed him before he destroyed you. Fatima ta'ala anha Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Sayyidatun Nisai Ahlil Jannah, Al Fatima to Sayyidatun Nisai Ahlil Jannah, that Fatima is the queen of the women in paradise. Imam Bukhari rahmatullah alayhi relates the hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Oh my beloved daughter, take whatever material things I have with me without asking me. You have permission to take whatever I have with me of the worldly things. But you should know that on the day of judgment, my reckoning will be separate and your reckoning will be separate. 
my accountability will be separate and your accountability will be separate when she died six months after prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam passed away 29 years young the queen of the women of paradise when she was being lowered into the grave abu dhar radiyallahu anhu standing in front of the grave speaks to the grave o oh grave do you know what trust is being lowered into you you have any idea what trust is being lowered into you hadhihi fatima bint muhammad zawjatu ali ummu al hasan wal husain radiyallahu anhuma this is the daughter of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wife of ali radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and the mother of hasan and husain radiyallahu anhuma abu dhar says i felt as if the grave spoke to me and it said o oh, abu dhar i do not see who comes into my grave i do not see who comes into my grave but i see with what actions they come into my grave what about our sons and daughters respected listeners such a great blessing allah subhanahu wa taala has given us when we become old we can lean upon them they are the only ones who are going to give us love and they need lot of love and i'm saying this to myself i'm not here to preach or teach anything it's just a reminder for all of us all of us have our own alhamdulillah blessings from allah subhanahu wa taala sahil ibn abdullah rahmatullah alayhi he says when i was 3 years old subhanallah imagine the kids 3 years old when they start speaking few sentences they're putting their thoughts together and is trying to speak sentences he says when i was 3 years old my uncle told me to say these things allahu ma'i allahu nadhiru ilayya wa shahidun alayya that allah is with me allah is watching me and allah will be my witness so i used to say those things when i was 3 years old and when i became 7 years old my uncle came to me he says, says oh my son what are you saying those things he says oh, oh uncle i would say this every day he says now say those 10 times a day and then his uncle told me when i was 7 years old oh my son if you know that allah is with you and allah is watching you and allah will be your witness can you or will you ever disobey allah when the consciousness comes into the child when he knows when he recognizes who allah is it becomes very easy for the child to differentiate between halal and haram rather than we telling them this is haram this is halal without introducing allah to our children a child goes to sleep in the night he wakes up in the morning who made you go to sleep in the night you did mom you did dad you told me those stories no 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 allahumma bi ismika amutu wa ahya it is allah who made you go to sleep in the name of allah you went to sleep who woke you up this morning you did mom you did dad no 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 alhamdulillah alladhi ahyana ba'da ma amatana wa ilayhi nushur all praises be to allah who has given me life given us life after death unto him we are returning back The food looks good, ma'am. Bismillahi wa ala barakatillah. In the name of Allah, may Allah bless this food. The food tasted great, Dad, ma'am. Alhamdulillahi ladhi atamana wa saqana wa jalna min al-Muslimin. All praises be to Allah who has given us food and drinks and made us among the Muslims. How do I look, ma'am? Great, good dress. Jazakumullah. Thank you. Allahumma anta hassan ta khalqi fa ahsin khulqi. Oh Allah like you have made my outside appearance good make my inside also make my character also good Going to school mom going to school dad see you later Bismillahi tawakkaltu ala Allah la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah In the name of Allah you put your trust in Allah There is no power or strength except in Allah Take care. You got everything you need. Yes, I got my lunch, mom. I got my lunch, dad. I got my phone. Everything. I'm good. I need to go. I need to run. No, 
say it three times, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Qul auzu bi falaq. Qul auzu bi three surahs. Allah will protect you until the evening time. And you repeat these three surahs three times in the evening. Allah will protect you until the morning time, said Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Mom, Dad, I want to buy this thing in the mall. We are in the mall. We came to buy these things. Yes, we will. And more. But say, La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu lahul mulk wa lahul, la, la, lahul mulk wa lahul hamd wa huwa yuhid wa huwa yuhi wa yumid biyadhi al khair wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir There is no one worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To him belongs the dominions of, of the heavens and the earth. There is no partner to him. He is the one who gives life. He is the one who gives death. And he has power over all things. Prophet said, when you say these words in the marketplace, in the malls, in the gas stations, in seven elements, wherever the marketplace environment is, in that environment of material, of the materialism, you're glorifying Allah, you're remembering Allah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Katab Allahu lahu alfa alfi hasana. Allah will write one million deeds. Allah will remove one million bad deeds. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will elevate your status one million times in paradise. Is that hard for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Just for remembering Allah in the environment of the materialistic attractions, the glimmer and glitter and glamour of the world. In that environment, you're glorifying the greatness of Allah. When we have this consciousness, respected listeners, our children, they may do some bad deeds, they may go astray, but when they have this solid foundation of the consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will always come back to Allah. They will always come back. If possible, and try this, respected listeners. It has been proven over and over and over again. Every day, just 10 minutes, 5 minutes, Maybe you can increase the duration later on. Bring the kids together. Let's read the stories of the prophets, the trials, tribulations, and the ultimate triumphs. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling the Prophet, وسلم, the leader of the prophets, the best of the prophets, the greatest of the prophets. Allah is saying, oh Prophet of all oh, Prophet Muhammad, وسلم, the reason we are telling you the stories of the prophets in the Quran is to strengthen your heart. Is to strengthen your heart. If Rasulullah is getting strength to his heart from the stories of the previous prophets, how much strength it will give us, respected listeners? How much strength we need in this day and age? Few minutes, stories of the prophets or the virtues of amal, fadail amal, the virtues of good actions. What will Allah give you if you pray salat? What will Allah give you when you do zikr? What will Allah give you when you recite Quran? What will Allah give you when you respect the elders, love the younger ones? What will Allah give you when you do give charity? These sayings of the Prophet ﷺ will give them a firm foundation of Islam. No matter what comes in front of them in the schools and colleges and universities, they will always have the foundation of Iman to serve, to preserve and to save their Iman. Sultan Salahuddin Ayyubi Rahmatullah alayhi. He says, never since I matured, I miss sitting in the halaqa of Talim. Where Talim, where the virtues of Amal were read to me, I sat in the company where the virtues of the, or the sayings of the Prophet وسلم, were read. I sat in that, in that company, in that gathering every day of my life, except one day. The man who liberated Baytul Maqdas, Jerusalem, he's saying this. I didn't miss any of that gathering. Every day I would sit for a few minutes. Except one day I missed it, the day Jerusalem was conquered. When the skirmishes were taking place and the war was going on and I was extremely busy, except for that day, I never missed listening to the virtues and the blessed words of Prophet it will help us, respected listeners. It will benefit us. Allah's mercy will descend. Angels will descend. Our children will preserve Iman. 
They will preserve amal. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our children the coolness of our eyes. We make the same dua, the powerful dua what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us in the Quran. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa durriyatina qurrata ayun wa ja'alna lil muttaqina imama. O our Lord, make our spouses and our children the coolness and the comfort of our eyes. Dawood alayhi salam used to ask Allah, I'm going to conclude with this. Dawood alayhi salam used to ask Allah four things. Allahumma inni asaluk al arba. Oh Allah, I ask you four things. Give me a tongue which can be, get busy with the zikr of Allah, with your zikr, oh Allah. Give me a heart that is always thankful to you, oh Allah. And give me a body that can go through the hardships for the struggles in your deen, in your religion, O oh Allah. And give me a wife who maintains her chastity, O oh Allah. And wa'udhu become in arba. And I seek protection from four things, O oh Allah. I seek protection from the wealth that corrupts me, that becomes the means of destruction to me. And I seek protection from the children who become dominating over me, who dominate me. And I seek protection from a neighbor who conceals my good and exposes my faults. And I seek protection from a wife that ages me before my time. But in this dua, he asks, he asks all about the worldly things. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala respect our listeners. May Allah bless you more with the blessing of children we have, alhamdulillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect them. May Allah protect their progenies, their generations, the children and their children and their children until the day of judgment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for all of us.